guys, it's Jordan, and I am so, so excited right now because um, I ordered some stuff from Lime Crime, and it just came in two years ago, maybe. I, like, saw, like, a review on a Lime Crime lipstick or something like that, and I loved it, and I was like, oh my gosh, I want to get one. Maybe someday when I get more money, I'll, like, get some. Um, and then somehow I just kind of forgot about it all. And I recently heard about it again, and it reminded me of how much I wanted it. So I finally had to go back and buy it. And before I open these, I know there's, like, I've heard about, like, there's controversies with Lime Crime and um, the person who made it, Doe Deer, I think is her name. Um, I don't know. I've heard there's, like, it's, I feel like it's really complicated, and I've heard things about, like, the lipstick's not really original and the colors and... Um, packaging and I don't really know what the whole deal is about that if you guys know more about that then comment that down below but um, either way I am so excited right now okay I'm opening it up and that's cute already this is so cute tissue paper and inside the tissue paper I'm, I'm assuming is what I got so let's see here it is the three things I got. Okay. Okay. I'm going to do the caramel gloss first because, first of all, the packaging is really cute. They get an A plus for packaging. And this is so cute. The packaging, again, there's so many sparkles in this. Like, it's insane. This is the color Candy Apple, and this is really pretty, like, reddish pink color. And That was actually not exactly how I expected it to look. Um, first of all, I don't know, this kind of bugged me a little bit. There's like a little hair. There's like a few little hairs that just kind of stick out on the end. Yeah, so I don't think you can see it on this little applicator, but there are like a few little hairs that just kind of stick out and don't go with all the other hairs, which are, it's kind of annoying to try and apply that because it like, you don't want to get it on the outside of your lips. If you like, if you've seen on their website, it looks like a, a lot like shinier and really, really, really glossy. And I'm assuming like mine still look very glossy and shiny, but um, it's not like to the extent of that picture. I mean, the, I'm assuming that picture was probably after like seven coats of this to get it to that level. Either way, I still like it and I think it's really pretty. It's um, it's a little bit sticky, but not too bad. I really love the color. It's so like pigmented. I didn't think it would be like that much and so bright. I got two Velveteens, which is their most famous um, lip product that they have. And first I'll go with the color Red Velvet, which was one of the first colors they ever came out with. The packaging again is very cute and it has this like matte rim around it because it's a matte lip color. Okay, so as soon as I opened this, um, First of all, the way this little applicator, it's like a little brush kind of thing. Um, it reminded me a lot of the NYX um, Soft Matte Lip Cream. It's the same like exact applicator. It smells exactly like the Soft Matte Lip Cream from NYX. Like I, I've, I've like worn this before, and it smells like they smell exactly the same. So I'm just going to apply it. So I just applied it and it goes on very thin like a paint, very, very pigmented and opaque with a very thin layer. Um, it also feels really light, it feels like I'm barely wearing anything on my lips. Again, comparing it to this um, lip cream, this feels a lot heavier on my lips and this I can barely feel it. And so it goes on very shiny kind of um, and as you can see it's starting to already turn matte right now which is so cool. So as you can see now my lips are matte and bright red. Now for the removal process. I'm a little scared for this. Uh oh. Ugh. Ah. Okay, so it's hard to get off. Very difficult. If I were to wait longer it probably would have been even harder because I don't think it's completely done setting on my lips yet. 
So it was pretty hard to get off, which I guess that's really good because then it probably will last a lot longer throughout the day. I've heard that it does last a very long time, like you could eat and everything, and um, it'll still stay on. My last color is Salem, and it's this really pretty, like, deep brown color. And normally I wouldn't think to get, like, a brown, because that seems, like, weird. But then I looked at, like, people wearing it, like, I looked at reviews of it. And it looks really pretty on a lot of people, and so I just wanted to test it out. So this color is more like my kind of like trial color and see if I like. It's like a color I wouldn't normally wear, but um, yeah, I'm just going to try it out. Okay, it's like, it's exactly like a chocolate brown. So as you can see, I just painted it on, and... It's still wet because it doesn't look matte yet, but it is definitely very dark. I don't necessarily know how often I will wear this color, but um, I think it definitely would look really cool in pictures. Like, right now, it's like sticky because it's still drying. It's sticky. But I actually really like this color. That's weird. Yeah, so as you can see, this is what my lips look like. They are the old, they're like the chocolate brown color. I didn't know if they were going to be more like reddish or more brown, but they're just like brown. I also really wanted to get Wicked, but they were sold out of that. And I know um, cashmere would look, I, I love the color cashmere, but I feel like it would look a little bit weird on me because I don't, for my like skin tone, I don't like light colors on me. I think it looks weird. Um, and cashmere is like a really pretty light color. Um, I also like the color Riot, but uh, um, that's not out yet, but I really want to get it. Um, but yeah, so those are the colors, and just to try something fun, I'm going to put the Caramel Gloss on top of this brown and see how that looks, just for fun. So... I just applied that and I think this is like my favorite combination of what I put on today. You can see like the brown behind it but it's also like red and um, the great thing about these the great thing about these glosses is that you can put them over like any color so if you have like you know whatever color you have you can put it on top and it looks really pretty. So that's the end of this video and I hope you guys liked it and it helped you out because I know before I bought all of these I watched a ton of YouTube reviews and videos on it so I just thought I would make one myself. I would give these, I would give these products like a 4.5 stars. I think they're really, like I really like them. The only thing is they're a little bit, in my opinion, they're a little bit overpriced um, just because, I don't know, it's a little bit expensive for makeup. I'm just kind of... I, I generally go for like drugstore lipsticks when I buy lipsticks, so this is like a little bit on the expensive side for me. The other thing I noticed is that it gets in your teeth like a lot. Do you see that? Maybe I'm just not very careful when like applying it or talking. I don't think that's supposed to happen. Um, also, I mean, I really like the Velveteens. I think the colors are great, super pigmented. And just to compare it to the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream again, first of all, the NYX Lip Cream is a lot cheaper, like much, much cheaper. And um, I know that after wearing the lip cream for like two hours, it already started to kind of like, you can like, you know, feather on my lips a little bit. And I know that this won't do this because I saw, I've seen like videos and I can just tell by how hard it was to take off because the Soft Matte Lip Cream comes off when you just wipe it off, when you just wipe it away. Lip gloss is great, super pigmented. Honestly, I loved everything. Um, I probably will be purchasing from them again, especially when Riot comes out and maybe Wicked or Cashmere come back in stock. I might splurge on those. I don't know quite yet, but um, I am super happy with it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, then make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys all later. Bye!